The callous execution-style murder of Albert Catus last week in Belize City continues to rock the activism community. Initially, the homicide was thought to be politically motivated, with some going as far as positing that it may have been a hit on the elderly cab driver. Prime Minister Dean Barrow, in a press conference on Wednesday, dispelled rumors that the shooting death of the 72-year-old was sanctioned by the state. In fact, he went to great length providing details of the incident as recounted to investigating officers in an official report. What I gather from the police is completely at odds with any notion that this was a political hit. And I am willing to bet my life that no UDP personality in the leadership of this party would ever do something like that. I don't know how much I am allowed to say about what the police, what the police have gathered regarding the circumstances. Um, but I don't see the, any of the ministers uh, sort of waving me off. So perhaps I can proceed. Uh, it appears the reconstruction the police have been able to come up with, of, of course, to, to prove what they believe they know is a different thing, but it seems that somebody caught Mr. Katus's taxi. Uh, the fair had him drive to a particular neighborhood where two other persons, was it two other persons, uh, came into the taxi. And then uh, Mr. Katus was told uh, that they needed to go to a particular area. By then, uh, he realized that a gun was, was, was evident. And the, the version that the police have been told is that he refused. He said he, he was on that. And he, obviously, the fear was that these people are going to, in fact, perform some sort of a hit or, 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 or commit murder. Some he knows that, and, and he refused. And uh, according to the report I saw, uh, he told them they had to get out and stopped his taxi and they exited. But when they were exiting, one of them shot him and killed him. It's a chilling narrative on how the cold-blooded act was committed. Despite those details, police are still not able to make an arrest or crack the case. Today, we spoke with Katusa's grieving niece who is preparing to lay him to rest on Saturday. We don't have any update from the investigating officer. We were aware of what happened with the press, from the press conference that the Prime Minister did. That's how we found out what was really going on. And if he was so sure about what is going on and what transpired between my uncle and the persons in the vehicle, that means that somebody is talking and somebody should be arrested. It's like an open and shut case. So, but as to say, we got any correspondence from the officer, no. We heard it on the news. Was there anything in so far as the account shared by the Prime Minister that caught your attention as a member of the family in respect of the details that were shared? Um, we were just caught off guard. I mean, for us to know along with the world, you would have thought we would have been the first one to get such information. And to me, he's like confidence because he said he even seen a report. We haven't even seen any report. The officer haven't even called us. Now I'm getting ready to lay my uncle to rest Saturday, so I'm very busy with that. So I said after this, we're gonna go to the officer, whoever the investigating officer is, and find out what's going on. As far as I'm concerned with what the prime minister said, that the guy said to my uncle and my uncle said to the guy, obviously somebody is talking, so somebody should be arrested. Albert Katus, an outspoken member of the group Citizens Organized for Liberty Through Action, COLA, was gunned down on Hickety Street on the night of October 12th. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.